So this is SoCal Vintage, probably the best BMW show in, I'm gonna say the world. Follow me today, we're gonna walk around and I'll show you why that is. So I think in all of BMW history, this is the busiest corner they've ever made. I, there's, it's insane what's going on here. There's lights, there's flaps, there's two belt lines coming together, there's two labels here. It's insane, but it's beautiful and I love it. This is the weirdest Porsche looking BMW I've ever seen. I think those are Porsche doors, but it's beautiful. It's like a ugly, beautiful Porsche. The way this kidney grill is attached to the car is such an interesting manner. It's almost like a, I don't know, it, it looks like an afterthought, but I think it's very much thought of. And how this belt line sticks out like an inch. It's such an interesting, almost non-BMW front end. But it has the kidney grill. So this is a proper Survivor because it's got some um, flaws in it. It's not just a Survivor that's super clean, it's a Survivor that's just going and I love that. Are you gonna keep this because it's a story? Um, or are you just too lazy to change it out? Neither. I'm keeping it because it's hard to find a windshield and it's even harder to find the windshield gasket. Oh. So I have to wait until I have both to actually. Can you it. buy the gasket new from BMW? Yep. No, you have to find them from wherever. That's so the it's worst. Like make them or it's a right. Thing. Uh, all these guys have stories. Three, a couple of them have replaced their windshields. I didn't know the Bavaria was so like forgotten about. Yeah, well there from... aren't. I mean, look look how many 2002s. I know. Look how many 3.0s. Right. And look how many Bavarias. I think this is the most underrated. BMW there is, especially for the vintage stuff, and to see an M motor in one of them makes me really happy. How cool is this car? I love it. So Bring a Trailer is here. You might recognize this car, you might recognize that car. Those are both modified cars that I drove um, a couple months ago. Right now they're going to be live on Bring a Trailer. Um, so we'll see what they get. I'm sad to see them go, but you gotta move on and get new projects going. So we're gonna talk to Bring a Trailer right now and see exactly what they do here. Mike here is a representative, the best representative at Bring a Trailer. And what do you think, Mike? Are these cars gonna get quite a bit on Bring a Trailer? I hope, I certainly hope so. If not, it's your fault. I know, it's completely uh, in my hands. Yes, but yeah, I appreciate you uh, having them here. It's cool to course, see them yeah. here. Do you usually come to car shows and have a, a live car? Is that something We'd like you like to do that as much as possible. Every time we have some sort of event, it's, uh, we really like to try to find, you know, something that makes sense and would be a good fit at the tent, so. Awesome. Yeah. So when you list a car, is it pretty hard to get on to bring a trailer or just a good car gets on? Um, we accept, uh, you know, I don't know the exact percentage, but we probably at this point accept about, uh, I don't know, about 70% of cars, 60, 70. Right. And, um, you know, it depends. It's just, it's got to have a good story. It's got to be the right fit for BAT. And, um, yeah, you know, we're selective about, about what cars come in and, you know, don't, don't come in. Right, I get it. Awesome, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks yeah, so much. Yeah. So this is Jeff. This is John. These guys are the organizers of the best show, I'm going to say, in the world for BMWs, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of true. It's like, really, there's nothing like this. There's this many cars, this many classic BMWs in Southern California. It's the car capital of the world, and you guys control it with 
this show and it's great. I love it. So thanks for what you guys do. You guys are kicking butt. So yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, it's a it's nice because it's a it's not like a show. It's like a meet. Yeah, and, totally. And people just get to come in and compare notes and right. play and no, you guys. Back and forth. Yeah, you guys know how to do it. Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's a driver's meet. We do it for the drivers. We're not a concour. We're very like anti concour. Perfect. Uh, right. And we just do it for the drivers. Everybody on this. We park. Perfect cars next to crust buckets. We love all of them. I like it. That's important. Well, thanks, guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're doing a green E12. Oh, my God. You. That's so cool. Want a hood? I love it. I would love a hood. You are the best. Where did you haul this from? So I rescue a bunch of O2s and parts and yeah. coops all the time. Yeah. And I was picking up parts of the guy's house and he said, hey, do you want these hoods? And he had a trunk lid and a hood, great condition, original paint, no rust. Yeah. But you're the only guy I know that has a car that <laughs> color. So Dude, you're happy the best. Birthday. I really, Eric, you're the best. I you're really welcome. appreciate it. That's so cool. That's why I love this community so much. All right. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Have a good day. See you, man. Take it to my car. about it it's okay so um it was a uh, abandoned behind another shop for about 15 years an 850 um, or 40 850 so yeah 12 but automatic unfortunately but of course we wouldn't have chopped it if it was. exactly um we bought it with the secret intention of building it into this but also because some of our customers needed some of the hard to find components that were on the car headlights um the headlights we sold we sold a lot of the interior bits. Right. in fact some of the car parts are on brian's who won best of eight that. um so we wanted to repurpose as much as we could yeah. right um so that was important and in the beginning, we decided, well, what would a Trans Am in the 90s look like in Germany? <laughs> yes. So I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but we had vanilla ice here. That's we cool. Had a, I didn't see a the pictures. giant golden like Kegel on the front drinking right. beer. And, you know, and this was plexiglass and right. broken. And, but we were having fun with it. And we spray painted it red and black. Uh -huh. And uh, basically, what really was the theme point of the car was this tank. And one of our customers has, uh, is a pilot. Um, and he has a, a like Blue Angels jet and it was the drop tank on the jet when the landing gear failed, the plane skipped on it, and it damaged the body of it. These? So they brought it into us. Wow. Yeah. So we cut the nose yeah. off the drop tank, split it in half, and used those as the speedster humps. Right. So these are aluminum aircraft ones. That's the fuel, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Um, and then to keep with the theme, and also we sold all the seat parts anyway, mm -hmm. um, we went with the uh, aluminum sort of fighter pilot right. seats. And the, and the you know, steering wheel. Pilot steering yeah. wheel, which is really uh, not fun for U-turns, but really relaxing to drive. Can you yeah, just hang I bet. Your arms there? I, I've always scared of wiring in these cars, and now you can kind of see why. This, should, this is a great <laughs> part of the display. Yeah. And this sort of shows you, this was the first CAN bus communication vehicle that BMW had designed. Uh -huh. And you can see that the amount of the harness going just from the front to the rear and just on one side. Cool. Well, I'm going to bring my off-road E30 to you, and we're yeah. going to go mosh the desert. Yeah, that'd be great. Take I'd care of it. it. Thank yeah, you so absolutely. much. I love this car.